So one of the questions that was asked uh, from uh, operating system in uh, 8 CAC 2023 was like this. Basically, it is a memory based questions from some students. So one increment functions was given and one decrement function was given. And initially, the value of x equals to 10 was given and uh, the binary semaphore and counting semaphore. Two values are given where we need to perform five increment operations and three decrement operations. And the minimum value of x we need to find for binary semaphore and for counting semaphore. So basically, initial value of x is 10. We are having we are having two semaphore. One is binary, other one is counting. We are having an increment function and we are having an decrement function. Our goal is to find the minimum value of x using binary semaphore and using counting semaphore, right? So let's start. If we start from binary semaphore, so the concept of binary semaphore is very simple. In binary semaphore, we can actually perform the operation individually because the single thread is here, the value of S is 1. So simply we can perform 5 increment operation in increment function. So the initial value of X is 10. So that we can perform 5 increment operation in first function and it will become 15. Thereafter, in decrement function, we can perform simply three decrement operations that we need to perform and it will become 12. So using concept of binary semaphore, we can simply say that 12 will be the answer. It is the minimum value. You can do it in any ways. 12 will be the answer if we are using binary semaphore, right? Now if we look on the broader concept of uh, Counting semaphore, then a little bit uh, logical thing is here that uh, we need to implement counting semaphore in such a manner that we can get minimum value of x. Our target is to find minimum value, right? So here two threads are there. Right now the semaphore's value is 2. So basically three concepts are there. If we talk about counting semaphores, then first what we need to do, we need to load the variable. Thereafter, we need to update the operations. It may be increment or it may be decrement. And thereafter, we can perform the signaling, right? So we need to first load, thereafter update, and thereafter we can store it. These three functions we need to perform here. So we need to apply the logic by which we can get the minimum value of x. Right now, the value of x is 10. So let's say here, First function that I am going to perform is log. I am logging uh, semaphore counting semaphore here. So I have loaded it, right? So right now the semaphore value will become 1. Thereafter, we have value of x as a 10. I am coming to decrement function. And we can do it because we are having two trades here. So we can, at any point of time, we can switch between these functions. So right now, I am also loading the decrement function and the value of semaphore right now will become zero, right? After that, I am updating the value of x here. So if I am going to update the value of, uh, okay, so before updating the value, before updating value here, we have already loaded it. We have already loaded it. So if I have loaded it already in decrement function, x equals to 10 here, right? Now, if I perform second operation here, so it will be increment by 5 times and the value of x will become 15 here. And after that, we can store it. So right now, here in increment, it is like this. But we need minimum value of x finally. So after that, I am again coming to decrement operation. And here, the value of x has already been loaded which is right now 10. Now I can perform the function. So I am performing this three decrement function here and the value of x will become 7. And thereafter, we can store it. So the minimum value is 7 here. The minimum value is 7. So I am again repeating it. 
in binary semaphore we because you can see the function simple wait and signal simple wait and signal functions are like that so in binary semaphore you can have only one thread and you can dive do the increment increment mode when you will not be changed so the minimum value of x will get 12 but in counting semaphore we can switch between any function whether it is increment or wait increment and we our target is to find the minimum value our target is to find the minimum value of this x initially x is given 10 so in counting semaphore we can load it first thereafter we can update it and we can store it and meanwhile we can also switch so what i did i just loaded the variable x in the increment at the same time at the same time i am loading the variable x here also in the increment so the semaphore will become zero Here x is loaded as a ten. Now in second chance, I am just uh, updating the value in first increment function. It will become fifteen. But we need to solve this decrement function also. And here, what I am doing, I am also updating it thricely by decrementing it three times. And after I am storing it. So the minimum value that can be possible is seven. If our goal is to find maximum, we can do some manipulation over here also. But our target is to find the minimum value. So this would be the minimum value that we can load the variable at the initial point also, and after that we can do the decrement operation. Three decrement operations we can perform. So minimum value that can be possible using counting semaphore is seven, right? So counting semaphore seven, binary semaphore twelve. I hope you got an idea. that how to solve this question and if you are having any more suggestions over the data if this is the data then 12 and 7 is the correct answer if you are having any any suggestions over the data or any 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 kind of uh, missing values you can put it in the comment section but i hope the concept is very much clear and question was very easy easily to moderate you can say easy to moderate you can solve it right okay thank you so much guys please like the video subscribe the channel and stay tuned for more such video solutions of gate cs 2023 and much more shortly thank you so much